Onivia, League of Legends highlights. And with Poppy, and oh, actually, we didn't even consider this, but it could also be the Poppy support. Yeah, of oh, course. Wow. I mean, it's fantastic into the Callista. It's yep. great into the Nautilus. I mean, try to engage onto this Poppy. I, I, I dare you. Yes, you just know. Sit underneath the wave and clear. Uh -oh. Zay is. I think he might Next have flash. an inkling. Oh no, he's just gonna run straight at him. Zay is no flash, no world ender. Maybe no way to get out of this one as he gets pulled back. And the Ren comes through, flash forward, and Paze will pick up first blood in the top lane. I love that he saves the flash. Doesn't know exactly if the Ren will kill. try to get Guma a kill, but it is highly risky. No way. Unless you want to TP Zeus in. I don't think they're going to do it. It's double equalizer. Yeah. Yeah, you got the package, you've got Rumble here. And he rotated down. And I mean, this is a sick play here. They see an opportunity, they see he's on. Oh. Punish! A turn from T1, an attempt to try to get back in this one. Let's see if the flank out of Zeus is going to be good enough. Keen going back in, but Harriet trying to help him. Toby just going to flash away. And it looks like Keen also going to go for the flash, but we got owner on the way. We got a potential oh. and Guba from downtown going to pick up the kill. Oh, what a set of plays. I would consider with the ultimate. Well planned here from T1. The punish play on point. Little bit of greed from Gen G. And this time, T1 swing back, actually almost completely bringing the gold lead before that turret goes down back to even with a trade of turret. will have the better group, and Guma won't be able to utilize that gold if he can't get into position. He's very low range to actually get it done. Keen will eventually take... You want to fight this one, especially with Packet available. I think you just got to give this one away. You got to give it away, and this is the prior power here that T1 do not oh. have. Oh, a little close. You can steal those with the arrow. He's there. And obviously the Poppy Ultimate could have been huge. If you end up hitting one or two of those, oh, yeah. then the Malkai Ultimate comes down. You win those. Ooh. Um, okay, I don't think we've ever really seen that before in the OCK, but it's going to not. Equalizer gets smashed the value, and now Faker in a lot of trouble. Down he will go. And that is going to be a big deal here. Senzi continue the push. Rip Herald, Smith Herald, they say they're continuing to dive underneath the turret as Zeus. Trying to put up some kind of defense, but Genji will have the tier one. And here it is big that T1 has. Tyro won't necessarily be able to control that, right? But if Genji slip, if they stumble, if they mess up one fight, you're going to fall off the rope and fall down, and that's when and, you know, T1 can come back. Guma can. They're going to get Banana Brush control here, but take a look at that double, double control ward in the Banana Brush as everybody is grouping up, and Jovi, he's got an angle. The hook comes in, and Carry is the target. He's not very techy. He goes down immediately. And this front line, Lahens loses his aftershock, but now you don't have Peria. It's a 5v4, and Gen Z are looking at their second cloud. Drink. The fights look the same. This is the same fight we just watched, but now Gen Z have more gold. Now the damage is higher on that equalizer, and T1 trying to find that opening. It's just not there, and Kuma. Kuma? And he's nice. chunked down. Yeah, he's isolated in mid. Jovi's looking for more. We got Lahens by himself. He's got Keen, but Keen is kind of leaving him to the dust. As Lahens is in the pit, and now Canyon just gonna ult away. And now they look to take the fight. Genji getting back in, but Zay is going so deep by himself. Oh! And he is going to go down alongside a faker as Genji take the two of them in the bottom river. And when it comes to team fighting, Genji does not disappoint. T1 think they see a moment of weakness with Chovy chasing Guma, but the kills just don't come through. And they're so close, and it's the tightrope walk I was talking. And Gen.G, they don't slip, they don't fall over. You see this angle here, Equalizer is down. When T1 decide to re-engage because of this pick here? Oh, and okay. Potentially. Jovi's gonna go down here. That goes to the Poppy though. Guma not gonna pick it up, and now we got Keen coming in. He's looking to punish the rest of them. That's a double kill for Keen. He's looking for a win in this first game. Looks like Karyo was the one to pick up the kill there on Jovi. It's never changed for Jovi, but <laughs> the uh... <laughs> oh. A T1 Baron, yeah, not to cut you off, this. Wolf, but T1 are going to go for a bit of a desperate play. I mean, Gen Z are about 4,000 oh, ahead, and maybe relying on Carry to knock some people away, but now he's just trying to keep them out of this one. Keen is not in the pit. Lahen's trying desperately, but that will go the way of T1. And now they're all in the pit. They're just trying to get out of this one. Gen Z should be able to clean up some as a kill will go towards base. Kanye looking for a bit more, but he has gone pretty far. But now Keen coming in from the right side, looking to shut these two down might just be able to not the easiest targets with the Aatrox and the Azir but eventually Zeus will fall and they're looking for a bit more Keen looking for the dive even I mean how far are they going to go on this one I mean they really want to take away all the Baron buffs here as the flash comes out of Faker what? and the head is going to go down but now it's free back uh... Nope. Canyon is going to live 
and Faker looks to take him out. Does get the kill in the end, and Gen Z definitely way overextended that one. And Chovian. They have teleport. Chovy's yeah. already here. I mean, you, you can't just give this one up, but you can't take it either. Once again, same fight, same choke point. Maokai yeah. ult to start. Same Maokai ult, and owner desperate to get in. They're trying to turn up to Zeus, and they will immediately take him down. Now it's a 5v4. Kandin keeps it least, doesn't give owner a chance, and the equalizer is beautiful once again. Guma getting zoomed in on a nice ult away by Karia. As he's oh! gonna get in and steal the Cloud Drake away. At least they get something. But at the end of the day, Gen Z is still going to take down two members of T1. And this late into the game, those kills might lead to more than just an inner turret going to everything repeating, right? Is that Zayus decided to flank, but they identify that, push on to him first, and when the subsequent fight is Faker. Uh, okay, going to get in onto Paze, and he's just backing in mid. It's a free shutdown for Guma. And we have had the ruler spot for years. Maybe trying to make a play towards the Baron that is going to spawn in 30 seconds. That has been their favorite objective. Big thing here is, as mentioned, with no Cloud Souls, oh, it might have a fight for away. Oh boy, Owner just trying to walk away from this one. The Equalizer is huge again, and Owner is going to be left out to dry. Nobody able to help him in that one. Because Genji needs to find an inhibitor, they need to find the Baron, they need to find the Soul, something to truly break T1, because they are still holding on, and... First down by the Draven, T1 control over this pit now, Again? this is to start over, and Cannon, he's not tanky, there's no time here for the poke for Toby, Equalizer yeah. has to be big. This time around, Keen is here as T1, they're just trying to flip it, Karia is going to knock away the jungler, and they do get the Baron again, but can you get out of the pit is the real question. Zeus, desperate, he is going to dash over the wall, and Owner will be left out to dry once again. It's a double for Toby, but at least T1 get the Baron? It's something that... Humble Life couldn't fix the objective control of T1, and they already do it again. We look at this comp of T1. Control of the objectives. If this Baron can get their map control back and Pryo, this game could slowly start to go back into T1's control. T1 getting a little bit of value out of that Baron push down in the bottom side. The Azir kill on the top side turret, and now one for Zeus in the bottom side. Good map reads here from T1. You know, the ult here from Draven slows down the push here top side. They've grabbed now a second inner turret off of this Baron. It's a decent Baron, considering they lost the fight, lost Cloud Soul. Uh, it's all going to come down. When Faker's death cap already done. We're getting to full item builds here across the board. It's true. Uh oh. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble here. TP behind him. The knockup comes in, and now Faker is here for the punish. Chovy desperate to do damage, but he goes down. And now a fight up on the top side. Genji looking to fight back, and they should be able to take on honor. That they will. And that will make it a 4v4. But you just took out Karia. Trying to get some vision in, and finally they're going to know, but it is too little and too late. 15 seconds until the Elder, and Genji on the bottom side here of the map might actually be caught out a little bit, but oh, he is going to dash away. This is it. Banana brush control. No vision, <laughs> a lot of poke. Uh-oh. Zeus on the flank. Like I was saying, he's caught out on the bottom side. He's just going to go down pretty much for free. Look at him, he's on the run. And T1, they can't rush down an Elder like that. That's going to be a free Aatrox. And now it's a 5v4 for Gen Z. Looks like Exodia might be on the menu here. I mean, T1, they have to win this fight without their top hands. Uh-oh, Lahens. They don't know. The guy. He wants to make the play. He's going to get in that back line. Presses his R button. Duma just dies immediately anyway. And Gen Z, it looks like they have done it for game number one. Massive divide, though. And a chance here, but so much damage as Quadra comes down from the side of Faker. And that might just keep this game alive, actually, as Toby is still chasing the Poppy! The <laughs> knock away comes through and Karyo will live! What a play from Baker! He picks up, what, like, 1,300 gold? The extra damage flashes away, gets one more auto, and it's just barely, it's just barely perfect for the side of Baker. To keep this one alive, and now T1, they are on the Elder! They're oh, the ones in control of this objective! Not gonna get over the wall here as he is actually oh. early a cannon is going to get in! Do they have the damage to execute them with this elder is the question. It looks like yes, as Faker also will go down. And he's got a highlight in this game, but he will not have a win. Gen G will take game number one. T1 is tenacious, but Gen G will not lose this first game. Just like the first game in our previous series yesterday, T1 fought hard. They had advantages at times, but it was Genji from start to finish with map control. Their pile too big to fail. And ultimately, yes, Baker gets a quadra, but they regroup.
Canyon, the man of the hour, takes the elder and wins the game. For and Lehens to try to shut down those Nico engages and to make sure this Kalista does not become too big to fail in this mid game because you still have that powerhouse of Fakers is here in those mid game fights before the Aurelian Soul is relevant. And he will be totally fine, but that was a little bit scary there. Shinjao, we know what he is capable of. And now, on a little bit of a oh, gank path, Guma. it's Canyon, the flash forward, Guma immediately gonna try to climb it down, will go Lehens, as the trade back here flashed away from that one by Guma, but it's not quite gonna be enough, as now Canyon, continuing on the chase here, Carrier just looking for another route to come down, will be matched by the stun, as now the charge on forward, Hayes really would love to take this kill, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. We'll have to see if Canyon can still get the kill as well. And yeah, he's just going to walk this one out. And that will just be a trade one for one with Guma picking up a kill himself. He's still chasing on this one, but uh, not going to be able to pick up the kill. It's yeah. pretty huge that they, they kill Guma. Constantly there. tracking where Owner is at all times and using this combo here when Faker is not in Emperor's Divide range is what Toby's going to be looking for. We'll stack those up and leave. Early Infernal here for the side of T1. Just going to utilize the fact that, uh, well, Genji don't have much of a bottom lane. And now Pays, yeah, might be more literal than I was expecting, is now Owner getting on in. The Root's going to come in and nice cleanse, they say, but you're going to die. 3v1 on the dive in the bottom lane. And that's also with Pays using his cleanse and 3-6. Well, second Drake going to be really bigger, and I think they're hoping for something like a Clout or a Hextech Soul. Certainly. Lehens. Oh, a little play here. Lehens is going to get the stun off, but now he's just on the run as Fate's Call is going to be used to try to get on top of him. Lehens will flash away, of course, to try to survive. And now that Rylai is really doing a number here to Faker, who has to flash away himself. Big is going to come out for Jovi, picks up the kill, but now might be traded back. Yes, he will. Owner going to pick up that one, and now T1 on the chase. They get the knockup here on the Keen, who is going 1v4. And is taking quite a while to go down. That's fine. Is he? At okay, no, finally. He fine. dies. Finally, he dies, thankfully. Um. <laughs> the big story here is he's just trying to buy time for the team to retreat because yeah. there's no way to fight this dragon anymore. We'll allow a little bit of retaliation here for Gen G. Some plates for Pace who desperately needs some money and a kill. Uh oh. As Cassante, can he survive? Is the other question. Tanking it up excellently is Lahens. That is going to be the end of Zeus. Any three you obviously they would have liked something else, but uh, you know, there's a decent amount of poke coming out from the Varus, even the Aurelian Soul. As now, we're going to make a play here on a Zeus potentially, but uh, Keen just tanking up the turret. Going to demolish that one down, and now the chase coming in from the big dragon that is Toby. And you know what, Zeus? Um, Ghost not going to get you out of this one this time, as it is going to be a trade of turrets. T1 also pushing the bottom lane. Is the Herald available, though, for T1? And that might be end, up, uh, end up being the big difference maker. If they get the crash, if they get the inner here as well, I think you take that trade. Yes, yeah, they up going down, but if you trade up in turrets, I don't think you're going to be feeling too bad about it. it looks uh, like that is going to be the case. At the same time, though, you can also argue that if you are Gen G, as oh, owner got oh cancelled, I don't think he's getting yeah. out. I mean, he went into that with 84 health <laughs> as now. He does have some support. He's got an ult himself with the rest of Gen G are barreling down into the bottom lane and the Crescent Guard is going to be nice for a little bit as Keen is tanking up that turret quite a lot but he is Rek'Sai. Now they're going to go for the re-engage, the massive knockup comes in from the side of Carrion but the turret is coming in immediately, Keen is going to survive on the backside of that and the Aurelian Soul with that upgraded ultimate is going to always be relevant on the chase and is going to trade it back. I mean you get a kill like that and then the reset is almost already there, I mean he's looking for that third item Crypt Loom here Pretty soon. Just 233 <laughs> stacks. As, uh, yeah, he's <laughs> just having some fun. Yeah. Um, it's a classic. We've seen it before the T1 Baron. You gotta start dropping some of these objectives. You gotta catch Genji off guard because if Genji just gets to again, kind of to fall back into their normal uh, playstyles, I'm not even gonna stop talking no. because it's, it's Rex. I will know that that's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're right, Chronicler. I mean, if, if they don't take the fight early here with this, this next Pop Blossom Fate's Call setup. I mean, this game just becomes so easy for Gen Squandered by T1. Do you want to say T1 still have a ton of backline threat if Chovy mispositions, if they get a big wombo combo, there is still a lot possible. It's not like this team fight, uh, this composition can't uh, fight the front to back. Scary does have to also want to highlight uh -oh. 
That's Baker interrupted collapse. on the dash and the whole team, the entire team is coming on up. TP now as Rexai ultimate going to be used. Baker not going to be able to sweep him away. And Zay is desperate to save him, but it's not going to help as Pace is just dead on the right side. Just going to go down essentially for free as Karia and Guma do fates call him to death. And now Zeus on the chase and the flash on in from Karia. They're trying to take out Toby and they will be able to. Guma finally able to front line and it's a winning fight here for G1 as they take out three. That's what we were talking about. If they can get us up a trophy, if they can take out the dragon. They can make... He might be on the upper part. There he is. Yeah. Uh, they're going to try their best to keep him out, but at the end of the day, Zeus doesn't have all out. They just need to turn on to him. Otherwise... Flash as well. Yeah, I mean, oh, he's going to be rooted up, and now he's not going to be able to get into the pit as, uh, yeah, pushed away here by Karia and is super low. And one last try, maybe, is now the bar is price to seal that one away. It's not going to happen, and T1 will take down a very that's, early Baron. That's the right timing. <laughs> More health. Uh, mid tier one's gonna go down. Guma not in position here on this Drake, though. He does have Faker, and they're continuing to push. It is, after all, just a singular Ocean Drake that Gen Z are making a play for. And now T1 on the flank coming around from the top side. Let's see if this does work out for them. Such a scary moment here for Gen Z getting wrapped around like this. Pushed backs against the wall. They have the vision with the wreck sign. Keen just staying burrowed, saying, okay, they're trying to flank. He's gonna take out that blast cone. A rare engaged cone as now Gen G sticking around here. Bounties are up. And they have the rel, I mean, with the redemption coming in as well. Now the engage is gonna be denied as we do have a massive ultimate coming down. And now the engage comes in from the side of Gen G. Gooba not able to play the game this time around. Karia also going down. And owner is left alone. Faker also on the run. As owner desperate to try to take out Paze, it's not going to happen. It's a quadra kill for the side of Trovi. Normally, you normally you can trust. He's the one in control of the map. <laughs> what, what's happening? Wait, wait, that's not allowed. How is that even? I mean, the gold lead is down T1. Yeah, they're down 3,000 And they have three drakes to one. I mean, Toby is that one guy you, you hate to see oh, when no. he's on the other team. It's the solo queue mid laner. Why does he have nine kills? Why is he so fast? Baker trying to get an angle. Let's see if he can do it. He's going to try to get on pace, and he will take out the Morris once again. That is not the Aurelian soul in the counter engage. Comes in. They take out the Kalista as Baker's still alive here. Another front line. The Gen G is going down. Redemption for Canyon as Keen in the front line trying to take it up. Toby puts a giant e on everybody here in the front line. It's such a close fight as both teams have only lost one member so far. Keen still on the chase, but now the Azir turret will stop this fight. And they should be able to rush over. Nobody's going to be able to fly. He doesn't have teleport being here so quick. And Keen, he doesn't have his ult. He doesn't care with three people. Yeah, Keen can't do anything, and and, and Chody can't get here in time. doesn't have his ult. It's a Baron over to the side of T1. And now, on the chase, thinking about it, Pays uh, is here. He's trying to enter the storyline. He wants to be a character in this game, but now the ult is going to come down from the Aurelian Soul, and the Crescent Guard is doing so much. It's going to finally be taken out, and Faker gets the shutdown as well. So much gold for them. And that might be what T1 needed. They have the Baron and the biggest source of wave clear. And damage is dead. 45 seconds. 30 minutes into this game, T1 may have done it with this flank from Baker. From our vision that we saw from the reserves, it looks like Genji could absolutely stick around and fight that. Toby uses his ult as well. Won't have that on respawn if he respawns here in 30 seconds. Ah, uh, they're going to try to go for this one. And After now it. they're throwing in carry. They're looking for the angles. The wreck side not tanky enough. And they're going to get the flash away from Lahens. Oh, but now 15. only only a one cannon minion, minion. One minion is going to stay lane. alive. They're going to try to push in with this one. Ten. And Paige going to dodge it. They engage from Canyon to buy them a chance in game number two. But I don't know if they're going to have it. Paige so takes out one. But it's four people against the Nexus, and they're just gonna knock it down. T1! Tough to play out, like the Vayne, the Zac, or he ends up getting one of these insanely strong blind picks. It's very difficult for him to lose, and they pull resources. The duo killed there on the bottom lane without any jungler attention. We often saw this turn into a 3v3. Not necessarily anymore. <laughs> Big win. All right. Owner gonna pick that one up. We saw both the uh, mid laners trying to angle on over, and now Canyon kind of in an awkward spot as... Owner definitely considering continuing in on this one. Going to put down a ward. 
Canyon gonna get charged on here once again. Owner continuing with the chase. The bottom laners are just distracted at the moment. They're not able to come on over and help me. Yes, the flash, the flash goes, still goes down. Owner picks up first blood 1v1. That is not a very fun spot to back in. And he will have it denied. Will they continue on this? It's it's just Nami and Shinjao, but now the rotation coming in from the Zack as well. Keen on the run, on the burrow, has to flash away. Here comes Baker with his wall, and Keen is in so much trouble here. Will he even bother to throw out his ult? No, he will not. Down he goes, and Baker will pick up a kill. T1 on fire in this early part of the game, and owner. And there's the six from Guma. That timing window was very small, very tough to pull off without Lehens having heal or zone level six. Maybe trying to make something happen top side. I mean, Zeus is pretty low as now Keen looking to take the 1v1, maybe even just try to pop the passive at this point. Gets so incredibly close, but it is not going to amount to much. Canyon still on the top side of the map, could look for this, but with passive available for Zeus, could be different. This top side with the Aphelios, maybe grab some plate gold himself here if T1 do not respond. Guma still in the mid lane. Now, oh, I was boy. about to say, can this just let it go, but Canyon says no! Revenge! I'm getting yeah. six! One actually be able to secure the full buff. And Jesus. walks up here, and uh -oh. oh, they don't have a lot of time for this! Oh, and the combo Zeus on a Paze doesn't do any damage, and now the ult comes in. The Moonlight Vigil and Paze will pick up the kill, but Canyon should be traded back. He is so far behind enemy lines, and Gooba will be gifted a kill as well. So a trade of 80 carry kills. Well, that could have gone way worse for Gen G. And the stacking of these two dragons. Oh, Zeus might be uh, looking for a TP in. Does come through. Oh boy, immediately responded to by the side of Gen G. Bubble has to be flashed by Toby, who's now looking to make the play. Now some two with him, and Owner is going to stay alive. And now the turn comes on in. They're trying to take out the Aphelios, and that they will. But now we do have a front line here for the side of Toby, who is full health. And nobody on the side of T1 is really able to do any damage to him. Ult comes out from the side of Keen. And now the chase is on. They look to take out the Zac. As T1 did pick up this dragon, but Gen Z are able to take the fight. Toby gets the Leandres, comes back in perfect time to stop T1. Oh, this is a, a scary call to make. Let's see if T1 actually fights over this one. Owner trying to get on in and is not actually going to commit to it. Keen certainly thinking about it. The front line, no question guard coming on in, and Owner is in a lot of trouble. This gets assassinated by the red side, doing insane amounts of damage, and now Baker, uh-oh, here comes Toby, gonna force that flash out of Baker and get that summoner out as now. Maybe a trade onto the Lulu could be nice, but not gonna happen for Faker this time. Good flash by Faker. I wanna talk about his itemization a little bit. We might have a little bit more action here as the Rift Herald is gonna charge. Gonna be denied by this Weaver's Wall. Not quite, actually. <laughs> nice attempt, but it does still goes through. But the Talia itemization here doesn't allow you any tank burn on the Rek'Sai, on the Sejuani, and this tank is here that's gonna come The Lucianami comes from mid-game cryo, and being able to go into the mid lane, chunk out an opponent, but because Paze uh, is already... Oh, boy. Very questionable TP here from the side of Toby. Can he survive, though? He does have an Emperor's Divide and a TP of Faker. He's tanking the turn. He goes down, executed. Toby flashes, goes into the Zonyas, but he eventually will go down. Finally, they take him out. It's now Keen on the run. Has a Lulu for some help and is Rek'Sai and will survive. Uh, ultimately, very greedy from the side of Gen G, and I don't think they're going to get any chase kills here. T1, especially with the Lucian being the other portion of the damage, which can be pretty bursty, not always sustained. And now Lahens is going to face check. Um, definitely another questionable move by one of the members of Gen G. He's going to have to flash away. And now here comes T1, gets the flash out of Paze. He doesn't have a front line. He's left all alone. Lahens goes down. Paze falls as well. And T1 are looking for something. Keen and Toby want to go to. 2v5, they're gonna take out one. They get Guma here, as now a knockup gonna come down on the Keen. And a chance here to take out Toby, but no knockup just yet as he is on the run. Goes into his Zonyas. Keen, desperate to try to peel for him. Can they take him out? Yes, they can. They take him down, and T1 take a big fight. And it's the same thing that happened with Lance when he got caught against Homa. He went in, the team isn't ready, he just walks up. And around the Baron, Gen G try to... Finals, and now taking a pretty significant lead. We do have Paze, yes, he has his IE, but no LDR in sight. He's going to need to build that full from the ground up.
And he's going to need a good five minutes to do that. So T1 definitely have a lot of time. Uh, they are going to find this angle though on a Baker. An amazing old comes in, but now Axis in the back line. Pays is going to go down. And the front line pulls through for the side of T1. They have the damage. So if he can be as tanky as he's like, but uh, he's not going to be able to chew through all of the members of T1. They get the pick onto the bottom lane of Gen G. The cross is so good onto Pays there as he tries to flash and kite back. Toby it is Azir, and he is trying to continue on this one. I mean, Tays is just so tanky, and now the follow-up is coming in. We do have the Zonyas, but Toby instant timing on the shove coming through from Baker, and that is the end of Toby as well. Even though that started with Genji engaging with Baker. But he also can't get away from the Zach, who's just accessing the back line for free over and over and over again. Genji can't go super deep because then they don't protect Pace and yeah. then they just don't have damage. That's so the, That's the point, especially if Pace doesn't have flash. Like, what is he going to do if no. they just finds a knee? And now Somebody from so far behind though. Genji, they're just going to start with the Baron. They say, well, T1 can do it. Why can't we? Uh, unfortunately, they are quite far behind and T1 are right here. So it's just going to be an attempted turn here from the side of T1. Baker's all the way in the back line, but he does not die. Toby goes golden, and Pace is actually surviving. He's doing the damage, but the Baron goes to T1. And T1 will eventually win the fight. The wallets are getting real heavy at this point in the day. As now Pace tries to turn it around, but he's alone. As owner going in, uh, they will be able to take him out. Duma does get the execute. And that Pace. should be enough. The TP is coming in, and T1 take a massive fight. Huge win for them. Pays gets the kill, gets a shutdown on the Xin Chao, but that is all he's going to get in this one. Once again, doing a lot of damage to Faker, but it's not enough to get the kill. They're losing the fight on the right side as Canyon is alone. The Baron goes over. And with the 10,000 gold lead here now for T1, over 10,000. This one result of the TP is going to take it, which means more turrets going <laughs> over as Canyon. Uh oh, yeah, he's going to go in there. Okay, there's a blast gun. Uh, we are going to have Chemtech Soul over to the side of T1. And, I mean, Zeus is already unkillable. He's already diving turrets. He's already diving into five people. Look at him! He is standing on a soldier and emoting in their face. It's a big zag. In five and a half minutes, I, I think this game is going to be done. I don't know if they get to contest. I don't know if they get to fight uh, the Elder. Okay, well, Baker is going to be isolated here, and he should be going down. He doesn't have flash, and the damage should be able to come through at least to take out Baker. Definitely a bit of a whoopsie, but a very nice catch by Keen to take him off the wall. That's another 750 gold to Pays, and in theory, that's what you want as Gen G. You're able to end the replica. Another thing at this point, and just hope that Pays does not 1v5. And with the amount of damage they have and the amount of money they have, it should be enough. And now they're just going to engage. They find the damage on the front line. Look at Keen. He was supposed to be tanky as he goes back in and will be denied any hope there. Down goes Keen. And T1 now have their eyes set on the top side of this map. Might even just go for a push here down the mid lane. There's no front line. Might imagine that oh, he God. thought that maybe that was a tunnel that went the other way. Not the case. Guma trying to make a case that he is the AD carry to look out for as Zeus goes in. The Moonlight Vigil goes totally wide, doesn't hit anything as Zeus will take a bunch of damage, but that is mid inhibitor down for the side of T1 as they take Gen G's inhibitor. And, you know, just like T1 was difficult to take down in game number one, Gen G are certainly trying their best to make a stance here, to make a stand and not just go ahead and lose this one immediately. But Toby is going to get caught, and so much for that, as immediately this fight should go the way of T1. They take out Toby, who desperately tries to make a play. It is not going to happen, and now T1 should be able to take the Baron. With that, that might be match one is fine. Now, Don't flip. Now, just fight. Yeah, don't flip, just fight, because Pays with these items, I mean, he can win if they get in the Elder buff. Uh, they're trying to take out Keen here, and now Gen T going to try to make and force a flip. Can they force T1 to flip is really the question. T1 not necessarily in position. Uh -oh. Here comes the Zach though, looking for that back line. Flashes away, and now Toby provides the front line. T1 are kind of broken up here. It's not a perfect fight. Are the well, it's heavy enough is the question. Elder! It's definitely Elder! not that, and it goes the way of owner. It goes the way of T1, and that should be enough to execute Gen G out of this game number three. Yeah, that 
should do it. Very close there on the 50-50 on the smite, but Paisless pushed back, and T1 will not have the rug pulled out from under them at the end of this one. Relatively tenacious game here for Gen G, but since the mid game, T1 had control, and they will go to max point. I said earlier it was 2021 the last time they won it. It was 2022 in the finals. Dante here in the Gwen. Front to back here for T1 is amazing and turned pretty heavily on those current places. Now trying to get on top of Deus here. He has the needles. We're going to take out the hens fairly, and this going to survive. And now here's Baker up on the top side of the map as well. Going to keep him safe and maybe even look for a play as Pays has to flash away from that one. Some pretty low health bars here. Comes Toby, though, looking to turn this one on to Zeus, who's just barely out of range of the calling and will survive for now. But he ultimately will come down from the Aurelian Soul, trying to turn it off to Pays. They will get that kill, but, but at the end of the day, Akina is going to get up to the top side and deny that turn from going down. See if he uh, tries to go for a one for one on owner here. No, he just takes his objective. Yeah, he'll get the objective. Going. They do a keen. Oh, oh yeah, look at owner. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh. He can't get away from the cop. Well, they've done it now again. Look at how quickly Canyon can clear these oh. wards and Baker's the target. Yeah, he's Left. gonna clear the ward, but he is going to dash away. But now, can you get away from the Aurelian Soul without a flash? He is going to divide, and Owner is providing a front line here. Goes into the Zonyas, a chance for T1, but now Guma in the 2v2, desperate to take it down. Yes. Gets the red ult down, and now Zayus is going to take out Canyon on the top side of this fight. Toby just trying to kite away from Zayus, and Zayus is going to be isolated here. The rest of the team not able to follow up on the Gwen. And it ends up being just a one for one. And look at the summoner Bonanza being. Aurelian Soul is now starting to become a huge threat. That'd be very difficult uh, to play out. Ghost in. He's getting ghosted at right now. Guma, he doesn't have flash, and he's just dead. Go for this yeah, Baron. They're, they're so fast. Yeah. So, so much damage. Look at that. Oh, the Aurelian boy. Soul just holds Q. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's gone. They're going to oh. try for the TP. Yeah, they're TPing in. They want to try to take a fight, but it's too late. It's too fast. The Baron is gone. And Tenzu will pick it up. And T1 are like, well, um, so that never mind. And now like Odor just runs into them. Assumes they backed, and that is going to be the end of that. That's now a oh. gigantic ultimate going to hit the rift here. It's a fight before in favor of Gen G. And quickly going their way as it's 5v3. Baker gets slowed up. Goes for a bit of a split, but there's no follow-up. Goomba can't do it alone. They take him out and clean! Ace! Clean ace to take this fight and maybe just the game. Is, is, is it, it happening? happening? Is it happening? Is it happening? Game five! Game five! One time! 50 seconds! Yeah, and that is a giant jump in gold. Now it's Gen G who are in the driver's seat. 8,000 gold ahead, a 6,500 gold Red Bull Baron power play as they leap into the lead. Gen G looking to push mid and bot before this ba or this dragon rather does spawn. Look at the Aurelian Soul Siege, it's just insane. Even yeah. his autos at this late game. The grubs! <laughs> Little grubby is getting in there. And you see Zeus is trying to push top. I mean, that's basically all he can do at this point in time, as he's not going to provide much of a defense anyway. But it is Genji closing down on the base. They are looking for the end of this game. The three man all comes in. Carrier goes down. Owner survives with the Crescent Guard, but maybe not for long. Goomba desperation as he steps up to the Genji members who are trying to put an end to this game. Canyon, they trust him with the Kha'Zix. He brings us to a fifth one. Zayus. It's happening, guys. Zayus is desperate. He is so desperate to try to not allow this to go to game five, but it is inevitable. Gen G will take down the turret, and they will take down this Nexus. Baker gets flashed on, and he goes into Zonya just to die at the end. Gen G, bring us to Silver Screen. And it has got Dan in this game number five. What is he pulling out in this final and crucial game? Is it going to be something like Lee? Is it Jax? What is the counter pick? Is it the Zin? Hoppy. Hoppy to come through what? with this Corky here into Faker's Oriana into the Zack. Hard to imagine that Pays, especially now down that flash, is going to get such a here. Fight. Owner. Hens is here. He's going to have the stun as well. The flash comes in, and Owner in a bit of a wonky spot here. He is going to charge in and has a speed up from Faker, but the flash on in. Let's no, not the cone, and it is denied by the W of the Poppy, and that is first blood given over to Chovy. Absolutely pivotal roam there from Lahens. He's been struggling so much this series, but his presence ends up making the difference. You know, the Soriana has been dominating the lane, as you mentioned before, Wolf. And 
in many games past, but now you give a red buff over to Chovy and this Corky early on that might have suffered is kind of just chilling. I mean, he's oh, 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 very even yeah, as we're going to listen in to this play. Kanjo, Kanjo. Yeah, it's just Lahens calling out. He's got no flash here <laughs> on the play. <laughs> I think you got it. Awesome, awesome. Corky. Got him. Give it to Corky, he says. He doesn't even say Joby, just calls him Corky. As a uh, little knockback here, Zeus, he already ulted in a little bit of trouble, even on the Zack, and down he oh. goes to the passive. Keen looking for a solo. Can he get the kill is the question. One last hit, and he will get it. And now Baker has to flash in the mid lane. Toby almost gets a solo kill with the last of his mana in mid, and Zeus is taken out topside here. Ends up picking able to make it happen. And in particular, again, you're up match point. Everything looks to be going fine. Even game one, I think, from T1, it's going to feel great, right? You're able to stall it out to such an extent. Zeus also taking a risk, but Keen is the one who's able to capitalize on it. Canyon's here. Hex flash at the ready. Yeah, he's going to look for it here on a Faker who does not have the flash, you remember, from the mid lane play in the 1v1. Faker is going to get the shockwave, though. They don't quite have the damage, although Toby is looking for it. The big one is going to miss. And now Owner going back in the bubble as well as Kyria is here. And the missile will not land. Owner picks up the kill in mid. Toby has a choice to make with that last one. But they're able to just barely get it done. And uh, again, the power of the Orianna as well, the shields, the. The CC coming in from the Shockwave, keeping himself alive. Owner and Karia making their way up as well to help us. Here is a dive. He's going to miss. And that's not going to be it, but he's going to knock him into the turret. And that will definitely be enough as now Canyon just going to tank this one up and run away. Lahan's not able to tank it. And so they do get the dive going, only picking up Karia, though. Case so late if he does decide to go for it. Faker just TPing to catch mid. And this package isn't going to do much. Unless Faker overextends, but it doesn't matter. Let's see what that soul's gonna be, because that's a big question on every T1 fan's mind. Two dragons oh, now. Inferno. Oh it's boy. Inferno. In mid here, pushing with an Annie rotating up. So much vision for Gen G. Yeah, we do see Karia trying to help out with that, trying to clear it as much as he can. We do have an Oh, he gets all down out of the jump, and now Jay's in a lot of trouble once again. Goes into the passive. And Keen. Just got to time it right with the Q, and that is going to do it. Eats a bunch of turret shots, but he doesn't care. It's two solo kills for Keen. Keen has been part of some of the most painful memories of the LCK. Who is summonerless. And now T1 are able to rotate down with the Rift Herald as well and push it into mid, trying to get some plays here as the knockup comes in. That is Faker, who is in the Rift Herald. Why is he in the Rift Herald? Oh, gets to Poppy it's to deny the eject. Oh, Can that is check? huge. What a huge error here that from should T1. Be the drink. For every, everything before that looked so good. They had so much control. They had the prio. They, perhaps a misclick. Maybe T1. TP coming in. This is Zeus trying to make a play for the streak. I mean, this is this is probably going to be a deciding fight of this game, of this series. If Genji pick up this dragon, there's almost no coming back from this. Package of the red. Uh oh, here we go again as Keen running on. What? He wants the finals, but no stun is going to land here as the cleanse comes through and now Keen has to back away. Gen G, he gets some space here on the map looking at that Infernal Soul. And there's just no vision in here. I mean, that, this is being burst down right now. Keen is just playing bouncer on the outside of this T1. You gotta do something as the ult is going to miss here from the side oh. of Keen. And here is a massive package. Toby trying to get away. Zeus going super deep for that one. And now Keen and then Owner gets in and he takes down the dragon. Will deny the soul, but the fight is coming in. Pays trying to go 1v3. Isn't going to take out anybody. And yes, Owner will go down, but he keeps the game alive. But T1, they, yeah, they got a Drake, but Gen G, they can push mid. On a second rod, he doesn't have death cap for this fight. Gen G, one Five more chance. One more chance. A T1. massive chance as the ult is going to get Owner away. There's no chance at a steal! Gen G will pick up Infernal Soul. And they're looking for more. I mean, they have the package as well. Owner are going to be slowed on up, and Keen is just sprinting at five people. Does not care at all about any threat from the side of T1. And they, there's just no contest. This time the Poppy ult lands. Keen oh. just walks in the middle. Oh. doesn't care. Infernal Soul! That's not okay! That's old Corky! <laughs> That's brain nerf Corky right there! Oh Look no! Look at that! Half his health bar is gone! They do not get to play the game. Nice little dodge here on the Q3. That's all they've got.
They have to dodge. They have to play dodgeball at this point because they don't have any other hope. And now, Seiyu's going to go in and immediately is just going to get burned to shreds. But a lot of damage here on Akeen. Maybe a chance for the bombs are being taken out as he is going to be blocked. Owner getting in front of that last missile to keep Zeus alive. That's worth though. That's a heal barrier and flash gone on the because side. Because you you know for sure that Toby will be doing it on the opposite side. Sacred's got to find Hayes and Toby here with the shockwave. Oh, there's another big pull on in as Keen is getting low. He's getting He's low. Down. He's taken out and now Zeus going on in. Hayes though is going to ult and it's going to pull them away from this one. The knock away from the Lucian. As Guma will no longer be in the fight, but that is still a huge pick for T1 to keep their hopes alive. Toby's out of rock. Yeah, they still do have Nash, and they're going to be able to utilize that to put on the pressure and just to keep Gen G in the base. And the, and the damage out of an Orianna and Lucian, there is a chance that T1 is just... ready here for Toby. It all comes down to it this. All comes down it all comes down to this. What fight? <laughs> Everyone on a knife's edge right now. One Elder Flip could get it done. The flash on in with the package, trying to make a play, but Toby is in the front line, and he might just go down here. Just a bit of damage could get it done, but they don't quite take him out. Keen tanking on the left one. Oh, it goes down, and Keen is still alive. He is oh. still alive in the back line. And Genji, they take the fight. Get your coffee pastas out as like Sante. Keen Sante walks towards T1 and says no. The engage from Chobi. Not enough to get an initial pick, oh. but it's enough to win the fight. He's trying to grab the wave. TP is coming in. Faker not going to let this game end just yet, but he might have to pay with it. They're going to try with his life, but the wave is going to come in, and they're just going to ignore the Elder. They're going to try to end the game. Oh, the Gensel! Gonna get it! Yes, he knows. And there it is! 1W! And maybe that just ends this game. No, they're backing. They're not gonna end. They say, okay, timers oh. are good enough. We Owner's take the turret. Up. We're Owner. going to Elder. Owner's up in five. But to get here to challenge the Elder, it just feels like... Gen here is gonna get it. The big thing there, Chovy forces immediate flashes with his ultimate, and he splits the fight in two. The package. Turret here, but... Breaking open the base of those inhibitors just seems out of the question right now. If T1 try to go for a defense here where they flank, they will get shut down. There's no flanking wards here. And the, the Corky poke is still real. It's still an Infernal Soul. You have to clear the wave. That's the only way. Shockwave gonna come through. The cannon minion does go down. Culling as well, but there's another wave coming in. And Alkeen gets the knockback here on all owner. He is running in to five members with the other day. A four-man knockback just to give them an opening to this inhibitor. And they will take down the top inhibitor as well as the middle one with those range oh, minions. And Gen G will stop at that. Health bars are low. And Gen G have learned in this best of five. We can't underestimate T1. We're not going to give them a way in. We're going to use the last 25. Right away, but well, the Baron will be rushed down. T1 trying to get over here, but without those critical tools, I'm they clear. can't contest. They can't do anything here. And now Gen G can reset. Gonna taxi that wave on in through mid, put on the pressure. And he's nearly got his ghost too, which is going to make him able to close this distance so fast. But the Baron push is on. Gen G, they can taste it. They're going to take down that third inhibitor. And they still have the Baron buff for a full minute. Super minions crashing through here. One last attempt, one last package. He's going to try to send it. Owner with the Crescent Guard keeps it alive. He is desperately trying to stop this one from ending as the GA is going to be utilized. He goes in and annihilates them underneath the tank that exits. And that will do it. Gen G will take the three to two victory. They will win in Silver Scrapes. Keen is going to get his first victory of the back of a monstrous Keen Sante performance.